Hi everyone, Dr. Bear here. I'm going to try to show you how to get useful output from Mathematica. Sometimes, if you don't know what you're doing like I did for a long time, you can use Mathematica and you can get results and you think, wow, that's not really all that useful or I have to spend a lot of time manipulating it by hand to make it simpler. Let's say we have this problem and I'm just gonna improve this statement right now. I'll say that uh, we're, we're gonna integrate the function psi of n star times x times psi of n over x, and we want x to go from uh, this range, so I'll put in the in or is a member of symbol there. x is gonna go from zero to a, and psi is defined as this. Now, my quantum mechanics students know that this has some quantum mechanical significance, but that's not necessary for this demonstration. Let's begin. Uh, I'll just show you, I've got my keyboard viewer here so that you can hopefully see what's going on on the keyboard. Uh, I am using a Mac, so I'll try to highlight the Windows commands whenever necessary. And so to get started, I'm going to type in the function psi sub n. So I click down here and hit escape, PS, and then there's the tab completion option there, psi, and then control underscore or control minus gets me the little box for the n equals and then to get the square root I want to use a palette so I'm gonna go to palettes and choose the basic math assistant I believe is the one I want if I bring it over from another screen where it came up on okay it didn't want to come over uh, I have it stuck over there um, but I do have my classroom assistant and it can help me too if I click on this tab uh, there's the square root the radical uh, it also tells me that I could use control 2 so I'll just go ahead and do that control 2 and then now I'm going to put the 2 highlight the 2 control divide or forward slash type in the a sign square brackets or simply brackets functions in Mathematica need to have a capital letter to start and then square brackets I'm going to put in here the n pi is escape p escape I know that just from experience highlight the n pi control forward slash gets me divide again divide by a and then put in an x I can hit shift enter and it evaluates it but I don't care to see it I'll suppress it so uh, put a semicolon there now let's do the integration so for an integration I'm going to go to this classroom assistant and I'm going to hit this uh, calculus commands tab here and let's get an integral with limits definite integral and lower bound is going to be zero upper bound is a uh, the expression we want to integrate psi n star x psi n well this psi n is a real function of x so I can instead of complex conjugating I can just put here psi n and then space make sure there's a space x and then space and then we'll just copy and paste again another psi n space indicates multiplication in Mathematica and then a dx I'll put in here let's save it as a variable x equals but it's not going to be x let's make it x bar so let's see if I go back to here I want to find a bar I don't know I'll give it another name instead of x bar so we'll just x a v g okay there's the expectation value or the it's a mean value so I get this expression right here and that's just what I was talking about not so useful but what I can do is I'll use the full simplify command I'm going to full simplify and I'm going to put in the expression that I want to simplify and if I evaluate that again it gives me the exact same thing not very useful now one thing I can do though is apply constraints because Mathematica recognizes pi as a mathematical constant but it doesn't know anything about n or a well I guess it knows that x is the variable of integration but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna specify a constraint after the expression so I want to simplify x average now the constraint I want to put in here is that n should be an integer so I type n and then to get the n symbol or the element of symbol I escape backslash i n and then escape and then it gets me this now how did I know that experience I had to look up what I wanted uh, or I looked up Mathematica and constraints so I'm constraining n to be an integer and so how do I do that I just start typing int edge and then you see here there's an option integers 
So I tab complete it. And then watch what happens. I hit shift enter to evaluate it. And now there's something that's useful and simple and intuitive. It's done this simplification with the constraint that n is an integer. So you can use tricks like this to make sure that your Mathematica output is actually useful and not an eyesore. Well, I hope that helped. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.